Bye. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Well guys, behind me is my big buck food plot. I cut it in yesterday, getting ready to plant some fall seed here in the next couple weeks or so. And I thought it'd be a good time to run through my food plots and test the pH. And I'm gonna show you guys the tool that I use to run through my plots and quickly test uh, and get an accurate pH on your food plots. Um, now basically what I do typically is I'll draw a map of my food plots like this. I don't know how well you guys are able to see the numbers on this, but this is my big buck plot. Here's the tree right here, right here. I don't know if you can see it in the video. Um, but I've already done the other end of the food plot and I'm down here to the end where I'm standing now. So I got to do this area here and we're going to do that together today. Uh, but down on the other end, I'm running a 6.8. 6.6 6.5 6.5 6.4 6.3 .6 and it gets lower as I come down to 6.2 6.1 Now where a pen like this will save you money is because when you You know start a food plot you obviously are going to want to get a full spectrum soil analysis and send it off to a university and, Or wherever you do and then get a full spectrum analysis of where your soil stands but after that, say your soil analysis says you need lime, so you put lime out, and you want to monitor whether your pH is going up. Um, it's nice to not have to send in more samples to a university and get all that tested again. You can just quickly run through your food plots with a soil pen like this and check your pH and uh, get a bead on whether it's, it's moving up. Um, the other cool thing about it is that I love is you can test your whole um, you know, food plot. You can run a hundred you know, probes on this food plot if you want and get exactly where your lowest points are so you know where to put your lime um, and concentrate your money with the lime and the area where you actually need it and then it balances out your whole entire food plot over time uh, with your pH so this is my map here we're going to complete this in a second but let me show you the soil pen now I'm going to show you two because for years this one is like dinosaur I've had this thing for many 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 years um, this one is very um, slow it's much slower uh, it's cheaper but it's much slower I think you could get these for about 50 bucks somewhere on Amazon that kind of thing but this is not a soil specific pen this is a pH tester and what I had to do with this one is I had to create a little slurry you got to let it sit for like uh, three minutes and then test it it just took a lot longer but if you don't have a tool at least this one you know will get it done uh, to some degree um, but this one to me is not nearly as accurate as this one so cheaper older for me um, and just takes a lot longer to test your soil with that this is the newest one I bought this one a couple years ago um, and just guys just so you know I'm not sponsored by them I had to pay 170 bucks or whatever for this out of my own money um, because I, this is the only one I could find that actually is called a soil pH tester it's really uh, hard to find these now there's a whole bunch of junk on Amazon all kinds of pH testers and most of them are junk I've used a lot of them and I would not waste any more money on it. if you're going to test soil you need a really good pH pen that's accurate um, and this one is really accurate I really love it but it's expensive it's 170 bucks and what goes along with this you need more stuff to go along with this you need a storage solution for the probe that's about fifteen dollars a bottle that's this bottle right here you're going to need a bottle of that um, because it doesn't come with it and then you're also going to need two bottles of ph solution one is a four and one is a seven um, so that uh, you can calibrate the pin now I'm going to show you, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the pen. I've already calibrated it so we can do a few soil samples here right now. Um, but at the end, I'll show you how to calibrate it because it is pretty darn simple. And the thing I love about this pen is that the calibration instructions are stuck on the back here. So you can always flip it over and go, oh, okay, that's what I need to do to calibrate it real quick. You take this off, right? You screw that off. This is supposed to serve as your probe to stick into the dirt to create the tunnel to then stick the pin into. When my soil is this soft, I really don't need this. So I'm just sticking it into soft soil um, all the way up to here and then I just try to get a good reading. They say you want to go around I think three or four inches deep um, and that seems about what I get out of sticking this in the soft soil. So you can, if you got a little bit harder soil you want to stick it in and make your um, 
make your hole with that and then stick this in so you don't damage the probe pushing it into uh, really hard soil um, guys this is uh, this is a really high-tech instrument um, so you got to take care of it I think this is glass and it will break um, and it's expensive so I always make sure I take extra care of this thing I, I keep it in the box all the time in the storage solution and everything like that so let's go ahead and we'll do a few probes right here and I'll show you uh, we'll finish out my my chart here on what the pH is in this area where we're standing so I just want to show you what I how I usually go across a food plot I usually put a, a rag in my left pocket like this just for gently wiping off the probe at times um, and then I've got my spray bottle that I just hang on my pocket just like that so it's nice and convenient my hands are free so um, let's get down and test the soil right here but I'm gonna point the camera down for you guys it's going down this is 6.6 so 6.8 6.6 .6. this is looking better on this end than I thought 6.8 6.6 let's go to the other side so we tested one in the middle, then I tested one right there. We're going to go back over here behind the, actually you know what, let's do one right over here in the edge right here. I'm sorry, I know you guys probably can't see the, the probe because the writing is digital and it's so small. Let's see what this one says. That one looks like it's 6.6 .6 as well. 6.5. 6.5, right here. All right, and then I just wash this off good. Okay, let's go one more. Go over here behind the cart and I'll test this fresh dirt right over here. See what we got. Alright, let's see what we got here. I know you guys probably can't see the writing. Uh went from 6.5 to 6.6 .6 on that. Six point six. Okay, let me show you how to calibrate this. Now we're going to start with the pH of four, right there. I'm just going to pour a little bit in the cap, just enough for the probe to touch in the bottom. If you can see that in there, and then there's a calibrate button right there in the middle. That's the middle button. You're basically going to stick this in first, and then hit calibrate. So I'm going to stick it in there. It's in there now, and then I'm going to press calibrate. And you'll see calibrate and then it starts blinking then let off the button you're going to get four zeros that go across the screen it's on two zeros three zeros four zeros right there and then it'll finish calculating and it'll it's going to flash that it's calculated uh calibrated for four see the four in the bottom left hand corner so it calibrated a four and now we're ready to go so the ph is now showing a four on the screen because it's sitting in ph that's that's four wipe it off gently now we're going to do the same thing for the ph of seven just a little bit that's all you need Again, all we got to do is hit the calibrate button once we stick it in the fluid. So I'm just going to dip it in there like that. And then hit calibrate. Let me get here where I can see. There we go. It's calibrating one zero, two zeros. Now you'll see there's a four blinking in the bottom left hand corner, but that's only because the last time it calibrated it noticed a four. But it's about to change to a seven so there it's done with four zeros and sometimes you'll get an error no we didn't get an error so it's a calibrated at seven now bottom left hand corner says seven so uh, we are all calibrated uh, for testing now that is how you uh, calibrate it real simple 
just have to have the materials on hand to be able to do it <clears throat> and you always want to do that before you actually um, go testing in your plot so so it's a great little tool guys I love it I've been I've had this thing for a couple of years I haven't had to replace a battery or anything in it so it seems pretty uh, pretty durable just take care of it and make sure that uh, you keep it in the probe solution so that your probe stays nice and protected so anyway guys um hope that video was helpful uh that's how i go around and check the ph in my food plots once i have a soil and soil analysis and i know where everything else stands uh leave me some comments any questions i'll leave a link to the tool um, over on amazon if you want to go check it out read the reviews on it that kind of thing i think it has almost five stars um, you can even look around for soil pins uh, but they're really hard to find um, and really good ones i think this is one of the best ones I could find whenever I was doing my research a couple of years ago. So anyway, guys, uh, reach out to me if you want. Uh, my email will be in the description. Look forward to hearing from you guys. Take care. God bless and, get, and be safe out there getting ready for hunting season. Mm -hmm.